Hello and Assalamualaikum everyone. Hope you all are doing well. I am with you, MD Shahjadur Ahmed, and we are again in the uh, part of function in Python. We have already finished first part, and in the first part, we have tried to describe about how to declare a function in Python, how to call a function in Python, how a function in Python actually works and what are the type of functions in python as we have seen there are three types of uh, function available in python uh, multiple argument function default argument function or null argument function so today we are actually going to discuss about the scope of variables and the standard library of python so let us begin okay so scope of variable so as we know actually uh, whatever programming uh, language we are dealing with there will be two kind of uh, variables mainly local and global so uh, what are the scope is actually we are uh, intended to declare uh, define so each identifier and variable is restricted by some reason according to the declaration this reason is called scope so depending on the uh, declaration uh, the reason is actually defined the variable is totally unknown to a uh, program outside uh, its scope so uh, suppose we are actually declaring a variable as local then it is actually unknown to other other function basically there are two scope global scope and local scope when a variable is declared inside a function or class it considered as a local scope so when we are actually uh, declaring a function use a different function and using some variables that particular variable is actually known as uh, local variable like in uh, this this one is our function say this one is fun and here we say a equal to 5 so this one is actually our local variable but outside the function uh, say this one is our main and we are saying b equal to 5 so this one is our global uh, global variable and global variable is actually accessible from anywhere inside the code so we can access it from outside the function and also inside the function as well so when a variable is declared outside a function or class it is considered as a global so as we said that b is a global variable so let us now see an example to know local and global variable betterly so as you can see there is an example so uh, if same identifier is used in global scope outside the function and local scope inside the function program treat them as different variables so uh, that means if you are using the same variable name in as a local and as a global in that particular time python compiler will treat the, the same variable with same name by different way that means local variable will be treated as local a global variable will be treated as global uh, although they are having same name um, variable of global scope can be accessed from anywhere as we have discussed and variable of local scope are discarded when the function or class block ended so whenever the class block ended the variable also discarded or uh, the variable value also be lost a variable declared inside a local scope can be treated as a global by adding global keyword so we can also make a variable which is declared inside a function as global by using the global keyword so um, just we need to suppose we are trying to make c as a global variable so before c we just need to use global keyword then it will become c so here you can see that uh, a and b is declared as a global variable because it is outside any uh, any other functions and also assign some values and then we have declared a uh, function as e scope test and in e scope test we are trying to print the value of a so we are actually trying to prove that a a is a global variable and it can also be accessible inside the function as well and then we are actually declaring a local variable as b and also we are actually uh, declaring b uh, say a variable with same name as a global variable but they will be treated differently as we have discussed uh, before that uh, whenever we are actually declaring uh, two variable with same name in different scope they will be treated as different so if we print the value of b it will print 10 
and then we are actually also declaring another variable as c and then printing the value of c so it is uh, because of it is local variable so it will display the output of c and then we are calling the uh, the function test scopes so now we are actually uh, print uh, then it will print these three lines these three statement and then uh, came back to this statement and then print the value of b so because we are outside the function and trying to access the value of b so it will print the value of b as 6 the value of global variable and now as we are actually saying that uh, which variable is declared as local cannot be accessed outside the scope so we are actually trying to access c from outside of the um, scope test function or block outside the block of scope test so that's why the it is showing an error because it cannot be accessible outside the uh, the function and it will uh, will display a message a error message like um, undeclared variable or something so let us execute this code and see what happens okay so we have completed writing same code in colab and uh, as we can see uh, we are actually trying to run that code so let's run that code we have already de described about all the lines so if you run the uh, this code it will so first of all it will saw the value of a and the value of a uh, because we are actually trying to access the global variable uh, from the inside uh, the function so it can be accessible so it is uh, providing the value of a and then we are printing the value of b and b is actually uh, using two times so it is applicable so it is actually providing the lo uh, local variable va value and uh, then we have declared a local variable as c and printing the value of c and then we came outside into the main function and then uh, trying to print the value of b uh, so in that particular time it will call the value of global variable b and uh, we have assigned the global variable value uh, variable value of b is 6 so it will print 6 but in next line it will show an error because we are actually trying to access a variable which is unknown to the compiler so that's why it is saying that name c is not defined it is not defined because it is defined inside the block so that it is actually unknown to the main function so see uh, uh, after watching this uh, i guess we are clear about the scope so let's go back okay so let's move next so now python is standard library so as we know in all programming languages there will there are some libraries python also have uh, a number of libraries so a module in python is a file that contain the group of related function data and classes so in a uh, in a module or in a library file there will be a number of function data and classes python external library is a collection of such as module that contain the core contents of python language uh, its package and module contain capabilities for a wide varieties of every programming task so it is actually having the capability of uh, executing all the all the tasks that is actually intended to execute so some of the important modules are uh, collections csv then date time then decimal math os random string and so on so uh, let us see uh, use of two of the module we are we are going to use uh, csv and going to use math library or math module um, just to ensure that how does it uh, works or how to use it actually so let's move on to colab and see that okay so here we are in colab so we have already written a code uh, so let's first of all uh, let me describe the code line by line and then we will execute the code so as you can see uh, we are actually trying to use the external library and the module is csv so first of all we need to import the csv module by using the import keyword and then we are actually trying to uh, in this line we are actually trying to open a, a csv file which is actually test.csv so for that we just need to add the test file so uh, to do that first of all we need to click in here and from the 
upload button we just need to uh, upload the file that are actually intended to upload from my case it is test so I have uploaded the file uh, before uploading we cannot access the uh, file actually so I will put, I will give you the file in the uh, comment section of this tutorial so let's move forward after that we are using R so R stand for read so in CSV module uh, there are four mode one is um, read the CSV file another is write into CSV file the third one is read the CSV file as dictionary and the fourth one is read the CSV file as pandas so we are actually uh, here reading the CSV file just the first mode so that's why we are actually using R and this one is our the directories where the file is given so in this line we are actually a new file is open and the path is given of csv file open it under the read mode and in the next line we are actually putting uh, the file and the direction of the file in a variable so csv uh, and csv dot reader method has used to read csv in python so uh, you can see that csv.reader is used it is it is a method by default method in python it is used to read the csv file in python and then we are using a loop to print all the lines and after that uh, we are actually using here uh, a quotation a quote marks and after that dot join dot line so line is our variable so in this line we are actually trying to use the join method which we will try to join all the string from separate line let us see the cbs file so that we can understand that it is actually providing the correct output so this one is our csv file there are two fields name and python and out of 10 so first of all python getting popularity of 9 then c6 c++ 8 java 7 and prolog is 3 so let's go back and hit run so if you hit run you can see first of all the field name um, name and popularity out of 10 and then python popularity 9 c popularity 6 c++ popularity 8 java popularity 7 and prolog popularity 3 so it is actually providing the actual output so in this way by using the csv module we can actually uh, can import a csv file very easily uh, and as we know that csv file also can use as a database it will going to give a huge impact when we are actually going to deal with a big project so now let's move on and see the use of uh, math module so here we are we can see uh, there are some few lines of code and first of all we are actually trying to use a external library of python as math module so that's why we need to import the math module to use it and then we are actually trying to print the pi value of pi so as we all know so the math function is actually work exactly similar as we have seen in java so we have already deal with the math functions in um, math, math libraries in java so it works exactly in similar ways like we have already familiar with the ceiling already familiar with the floor and also power and square root so all are the familiar and all works in similar ways in python so this function will truncate digit after the decimal point so here we are actually trying to mean that we just need to display two digit after the decimal point and then we are putting the value of x equal to 9.9.2 and then we are saying there what are the ceiling value of x and what are the floor value of x then what are the power of 2 2 to the power 3 and what are the square root of 16 so it works for uh, math module so let us run this code so you can see first of all it is providing the uh, value of pi so as we all know it is 3.14 there's something but uh, as we have put in that after decimal point we just want to saw two digits so that's why it is showing us two digits and then we are uh, want to see the value of c x as ceiling so it is as it is 9.2 so ceiling value should be 10 so that's why it is 10 and then floor value so it will be rounded and uh, count as a uh, float value so it will be become 9 and then uh, power to 2 to the power 3 equal to 8 and then math square root 
16 so if we root 16 then it will be 4 so that's how the math function use so it will uh, give a huge impact uh, during dealing with some function or some mathematical uh, calculation so so let's go back to the slide so although there are some other uh, module as well so we'll uh, watch and see the use of all the fun modules whenever it is required one by one so for today we just want to show you how actually all module works and how to include it in our python code so, so that's it from this tutorial hope to see you in next tutorial till then everyone stay safe stay home allah hafiz assalamu alaikum